people invite me to stuff, and I just have to turn them down and say, I'm sorry, I'm watching the kids that night. And they say, well, can't you find a babysitter? No, I can't find a babysitter. Not only is it expensive, but it's daddy, daughter, son, or baby time, you know? You know, that's one of the things about being a parent. You can't any longer just get up and walk out of the house whenever you want. You always have to consider, well, what about the kids? Are they coming? Are they going? Are they getting a babysitter? What's going to happen? can't just up and leave at any time I want to. And believe me, I was always one of those people that loved to do that. I loved to get up, just get up and walk anytime I wanted to. Walk off down the street. can't always do that when you got kids. Now it's true that I can get a babysitter. I could get somebody to watch my kids for me. Which frees me up to go see the sights, to go on hikes, walks whenever I want to. But you know, and this may sound funny, but I didn't have kids to get babysitters. I had kids because I wanted them to be able to have wonderful experiences with me together. And if I'm shrugging them off every time I want to do something, well, that's kind of not why I had kids. Now don't get me wrong, I do get babysitters quite a bit, and usually they're grandma and grandpa or aunt and uncle or somebody I know or is in my family. And that's a great opportunity for them because they want to spend time with the kids as well. But parenting is a huge commitment. And no, it's not always easy. It's not even always fun. In fact, sometimes it feels like an uphill battle. Or is that uphill climb? It's true that I miss out on a lot because I'm a parent of little kids. But I always intended that. When my wife and I got married, we knew we wanted to have kids. And we wanted to have a few. Maybe a lot. And now that we've got a few, we're very happy with it. Now I'm not trying to say don't invite parents of young children to things. I'm just saying don't be upset if they can't come all the time. Don't give them a hard time just because they can't get a babysitter or really don't want to. Because the truth is, this is a time in their lives when they're being parents. Not that being a parent goes away after a few years, but being a parent to young children is a huge commitment. And it takes a lot of consistent, regular time. But you know what? That time spent together during those early years of life are invaluable. You'll never get them back. There's a reason the church is de-emphasizing programs and spending a lot of time with church events. The Lord knows how important family time is together. Because even if the little kids don't remember everything that you do with them, the relationship you form with them will last forever. Their attitude toward you at age five is highly dependent on their attitude toward you at age three. And their attitude toward you at age 10 is highly dependent on their attitude toward you at age five. Then comes the dreaded teenage years. If you want your kids to be ready for the teenage years, you better form a good relationship with them now because there are a few things that are gonna anchor a kid as much as a good relationship with their parents. And that starts at age zero. If you know somebody who has kids, try to encourage them to spend time with them. And if that means bringing their kids along to your get-togethers with your friends, so be it. And if you're a parent of small children, or older children, spend more time with them. <clears throat> Which um, brings up a good question. What am I doing out here alone? Let's see, now last I checked they were eating lunch. Ah, much better! So thanks again for joining us today. Again, I'm Chaz Hathaway, author of Marriage is Ordained of God, But Who Came Up With Dating? and Giraffe Tracks. Mm -hmm. Join us again next time for another episode of Gospel Living Made Awesome!